A picture is worth a thousand words and this is never truer than when you're trying to sell stuff on eBay or Etsy or anywhere online. I'm going to show you how you can make an absolutely great picture every time when you photograph it inside this miniature studio in a box. It's absolutely wonderful for photographing watches, jewellery or any small products. Adorama TV presents iPhonography with Nikki Fitzgerald. So if you want to photograph some of your favourite things, maybe some heirlooms or watches or jewellery, or even if you want to sell some stuff online like on eBay or Etsy or even in your local newspaper or magazine, then you want to maximise your chances by getting the greatest shot you can possible. We all know that if we see a bad shot when we're trying to buy a product, it really puts us off. So we're going to photograph my lovely old watch here. It's not exactly a $50,000 watch, but we're going to make it look a million dollars when we put it through our Deshadow Miniature Studio box. But first of all, before we do that, let's just have a look and see how we would normally quickly take a photograph if we were going to put something on eBay. Probably just put it down. I'm going to take one with flash and one without and see what the best results are. So we put it down on the first available surface. We'd line it up and we'd photograph that. And then perhaps we've got our flash on, auto, so we think it's a bit dull in here. We'll brighten it up with a bit of flash and get it nice and close. Yeah, that looks fab. And let's have a look at the results. Now you can see this, this looks pretty poor actually. It looks very dull. There's big dark shadows over there. It doesn't really look true to the, the natural color. If I look at the flash one in the hope of something better, that blue's come up nice, but half of it's in a big dark shadow. We've got some horrible bruising around the outside. It looks really uninviting. It's not a very inviting picture that's gonna sell. So not great. Let's see what the uh, miniature studio can do and hopefully things will improve. So first, let's see what's in the box. I can't wait to get this open and have a look inside. I've been meaning to get one of these for ages. So it simply slides out of the box like that easily. Lovely smart kit. It's nice and light as well. And the studio is all in here. But first we've got four pockets. Let's just see what's in those. Let's just unclip the straps there. And first of all, we've got two little uh, kit lights, that one kit light there, and the second one here, and then inside the third pocket we've got the bracket here, which is going to hold our camera, and then we've got the monopod, which extends, and this is going to attach to our bracket and put our camera in. So where's the studio? Well, it's all in here. Let's have a look. It's just all hidden away under this flap here. We simply open it up like that and it's all in there. We've got our backgrounds here. We've got a dark blue for light objects, we've got a light one for dark objects. And now we need to set up the box. So let's get our backgrounds out of the way and let's set the studio up. All we need to do is just flip this back like this, turn this round, open the right hand side, Get rid of that flap, open the left hand side. Now before we put the roof on, we just need to attach our blue background because that's going to look fab with my blue watch. Okay, let's just move that back a bit. And then all we need to do now is pop the ceiling on and there is our major kit, or the main part of our kit, all set up, really dead simple. Okay, so the next step is to set up our bracket. This is going to form the basis of our support for our camera and we just need to screw this monopod onto the base here. So simply tilt that up and then screw the end into there, line that up, screw it in. Great. Nice and tight and then we'll put our base down. We just need to put our lights on. These are great. These have got replaceable halogen bulbs. Uh, they're fully adjustable, so you can get some great angles there. And you can tighten them up with a little knob on the side there. And then the great thing also is we've got these really easy to use rocker switches, easy to turn on and off. And the really cool thing is this little retractable uh, stand. So if you need to handhold the lights, we can just get those away really quickly. And just handhold those wherever you want. So let's just stand that on the side and put that there. And then we've got the other one, of course, exactly the same. We can just get the stand out, stick that on the side, and then we're ready 
to set up our shoot. So now we're going to try a shot using the full kit, which includes both lights, and see how that looks. So I'm going to switch these lights on. So if we can cut the ambient light as I turn these lights on, if we can cut the light now. Now look at that. You can see straight away that looks much better. Now what this is doing, the light is coming in through the sides of the walls here. It's being diff diffused and it's giving us a natural, even light. The colours are better. There's more definition. And when I start to just play around with the exposure here and get that focus just right. That's going to look absolutely fantastic. Really, really great. So it doesn't matter what your lighting conditions are. If you've got this mini studio, this is going to really work for you with lots of different products. So that looks great. There's not really anything I need to do to that. It's absolutely fabulous. I'm going to take that shot. I'm going to set it on the timer because that's going to keep our uh, shot nice and steady. Off it goes. We've got that shot. Now that looks absolutely much better than any of the shots we've taken earlier. I'm really happy with that and can't wait to try some other products and see how they come out. I hope I've shown you how easy it is to create great professional shots every time in this little mini studio. And don't stop at jewellery and watches and small products. You can also do video in here. It's great fun. If you like doing stop animation, that's easy to do in here. Or try putting a green screen in the background and superimposing your own videos. The possibilities are really endless. Just give it a go and see what you get. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV where you'll find lots more information on iPhoneography related items and our products. We'd love to know what you think, so please like, share or comment in our videos. And don't forget to hop over to the Adorama Learning Centre where you'll find lots more hints, tips and tricks and tutorials on all things photography and information on all of our products. I'll see you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.